Nano Yawada, Yan Jas and Pa Yin Yaba Yamame, Yayiri, a coya, or maybe you. And so in Yame, and I would name ye, ye and all Yaman and Ma. Yet the question in the baby, sir, and so no. Answering in a winning meal. In the year, Papa, nay more, Papa, say, and for a dog, and more domo, na, and ne. Ah, we see a yes, you will say, Yea, yea, and I watch you know, in your now, at a busy and she now, Eddie baby, yeah. All I'm saying is, I welcome you once again into the um, one week celebration of our dear mother, wife, sister. Today, we are celebrating a uh, one week. Traditionally, Thursday would have been um, the one week, but uh, you know, England and uh, work issues. So we have to bring it on Saturday for everybody to come and then um, help the family to observe this day. Today, as we have come, this is the day that um, the family will tell us when they will um, bury their beloved. So please don't go until you hear from the family the date or the day of the burial service and then the burial, burial ceremony. So please bear with us. We'll be starting the program very soon. As I said earlier on, in case of any fire, there are three fire exits around. I know there's not going to be fire, but just in case, please we walk majestically, no rush to cause any stampede. So one on my right, one on my middle, and one on my left. And the toilet is just here. Um, the ladies is the first and the second is the chain. In case you need anything, let me know. I'll be your MC for the night and DJ Shai is there playing some music. So please, if you want to do anything, any donation, any presentation, let me know. I'll give you the opportunity to do it. Thank you. <laughs>
you. We know that you bring to a successful end. We know that you will perfect everything that concerns you. We accept you as a church, as individuals, and the whole family. In Jesus' mighty name, we bless your name. Amen. 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 Bless you, Minister Victoria. It's very painful. Very painful in times like this. So unfortunate. So, so unfortunate that we have together a day like this to celebrate the death of our dear beloved. Sometimes we wish that when we gather like this, family, friends, colleagues, when we gather like this, sometimes we wish that it's a celebration of years, celebration of achievement, celebration of so many things. It's unfortunate that today we are remembering our dear sister, our dear mother, our dear colleague, our dear wife, our dear DJ, please give me some song. Um, we welcome people into the hall.
Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you once again to the one week observation of our dear sister, mother, wife, colleague. I know most people have traveled from far and near. I heard that um, her colleagues are here. If you work with Auntie Jane, can I see her man? Her colleagues are here. God bless you. You're welcome. Friends, KPI members, family members, friends from other places. We thank you for being here. And as I said earlier on, um, today is the day that we announce the date for the burial ceremony. 
in the burial service. So please don't go before you hear from the family the days that I will bury our sister. So fortunate that yesterday she was here and today we are talking about her burial. Such is life. Life, what is it all about? What is life all about? Today you are here with somebody. Tomorrow, the person is no more. One day, some people will also gather for your funeral. Death is inevitable. Everybody will pass through. But how you go, nobody knows. Some people will live up to 100, some up to 70, some up to 60. Our mother is 54, she's gone. Some will not even live up to 54. Nobody knows tomorrow. That's why life, we need to love ourselves, cherish each other, celebrate each other every day. Because today you see somebody, tomorrow the person is no more. Our dear mom, our dear sister, our dear colleague, she's gone to see her maker. What are we also going to do? We are here. Today we are here. How are we going to spend the rest of our lives? What are we going to do about our lives? Think about these things. At this time, we're going to sing a hymn, the hymn that our sister loves so much. She was part of the hymnal group in the um, church, and this is one of her favorite. So if you have the hymn sheet, please can you pick it up as I invite our brother Nete to lead us to sing today's hymn. Please shall we rise to our feet as we sing. This is her favorite hymn. It is so sweet to trust in Jesus. Yeah. 
Jesus, oh, for grace to trust Him more. We take in the last verse again. Jesus, Jesus, how I trust Him, how I've proved Him more. Precious Jesus, oh, for me to trust you more. Amen. Shall we please resume to our seats? Amen. Oh, for grace to trust him more. I wish you yeah, we are welcoming people to the hall. As I said earlier on, um, if you want to do anything or you want a presentation done, Please see me and I'll give you the opportunity to do it. And then um, later on, we also announce the burial date for the funeral. So, in case you want anything to be said or you want to do anything, please let me know. I wish you a good day.
apa? Aha, ini ni apa nama? Yamin Shiro, Yamin Shiro. Ya bawa apa? Na emlebe mo obesa. KPI adua koyopu omuaha. Oh, you ready? We need our breakfast and so on. Oh, see, yeah, so on. Oh, we need our ne. Oh, we have a change of money. Baby, yeah, we are doing crazy work. And then, oh, we are ready. Now, that the baby is in the studio. I'm fire a bit. At this time, the man of God is here to encourage us. We need encouragement. We need word of exhortation. In times like it's not easy to lose a dear one. The president of the women's ministry, a dearest mother, a wife, a colleague, a sister, an auntie, somebody who is so lovely, she's always smiling. Last time I, I was telling somebody that I've known this woman for a long time from Resurrection Power to King's Palace International. I didn't hear anybody saying that she has problem with this woman. I don't know if you heard anything. And I didn't hear anybody quarreling with this woman. She's been so lovely. Wherever she is, there is peace and the atmosphere is so cool, as somebody would say. She's somebody who doesn't fight with anybody, she doesn't get angry, she's always smiling and laughing. But it's unfortunate that death has taken her away from us. So at this time, the man of God is here to say something to us, to encourage us, to encourage the family, because the family is, is hurting. It's not easy, the family is hurting. At this time, shall we welcome the head pastor of King's Palace International, Pastor King George Yaboa, to give us a word of exhortation.
yourself the essence of life and we as people who have come to believe that there is a God we come to just one conclusion that life without God is meaningless. How can a beautiful soul, kind hearted person, a good wife, wonderful mom? How can one who is so profitable to many cannot be among us? How do we then meet 
without Abena. But may the will of God be done. Words are not enough to console the bereaved. Friends, colleagues, the church. If opportunities given to every one of us here, there are so many beautiful things you will say about this woman. I know you are sad. Your heart is broken. That's the least you wish for such a beautiful person, Janet. Abena Sintendiabi. I am standing here wondering what to say to console you. But in all things, the word of God is supreme. Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of the Lord shall abide forever. I'm just standing here reflecting the last moments of Janet. I had opportunity to be, to be with her. I can't get the pictures out of my mind. It breaks my heart. At the same time, it gives me joy that she boldly embraced the calling into glory of her father in heaven. And I didn't know she was such a brave woman. Telling me, Papa, speak to my husband. Console my husband. Tell him to be strong. I asked her a few questions. She answered all the questions to me. I asked, Abena, are you afraid? She said, no, Papa. Do you know you are a child of God? She said, yes. Do you know Jesus died for you? She said, yes. Do you know Jesus loves you? She said, yes. We had an opportunity to have a wonderful worship with her. The moment she will try to lift both her hands up and our hair hold her hands up. And as we'll be singing, she'll be tapping my hands according to the rhythm, enjoying the song. Given moment with every strength in her, she puts one arm in her other palm, signify, signal that I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Thereafter, she blew three kisses, saying goodbye to us. lifted her hands up to heaven knowing that it is sweet to trust in Jesus Sammy Sammy and your wife you don't have to tell us everybody see your friendship with your wife
of the preacher, the son of David, king in Jerusalem. Vanity of all vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities. All is vanity. What profit has a man from all his labor in which he toils under the sun? One generation passes away and another generation comes but the earth abides forever the sun also rises and the sun goes down and hastens to the place where it arose the wind goes towards the south and turns around to the north the wind whirls about continually and comes again on each circuit all the rivers run into the sea Yet the sea is not full to the place from which the rivers come. There they return again. All things are full of labor. Man cannot express it. The eye is not satisfied with seeing, nor the ear filled with hearing. That which has been is what will be. That which is done is what will be done. And there is nothing new under the sun. Is there anything of which it may be said, See, this is me. It has already been in ancient times before us. There is no remembrance of former things. Nor will there be any remembrance of things that are to come. By those who will come after may we say amen if i may be permitted to encourage whatever we will do today whatever we will say janet is not part of it she can't hear she can't notice she can't observe a few weeks ago she was around she could hear she could see she could feel so if there is any benefit of such a great loss, if there is a price money could not be equated to, to pay for that price of her person, is to dive into her legacy, who she was, her personality, her love, her patience, her commitment, her loyalty, her respect. If there is anything that Janet might have done and you could take it away today, may you do well. Even she is gone today, but there is somebody sitting next to you today. How will you relate to the one sitting to you? Most unfortunate wait for such a time to express a different affection for somebody. But unfortunately, when they are alive, criticism is the order of the day. Fault finding is the order of the day. But at times where we come from, the dead is cherished more than the living. And we dare not say it. How will you uphold the one who is alive and is a neighbor to you? Will you forgive when I fought against you? Or the heavens will be open and drops of tears will fall when I am dead. It is too late to show affection to Janet. 
It could have been done some weeks back. But, but, there is another Jenna sitting next to you. She had, she was a wife. There is another person's wife sitting next to you. She was a mother. Somebody sitting next to you, behind you, is also somebody's mother. Has she suddenly become special to all of us? I pray somebody while they are alive. In their mistakes, find in your heart to forgive them. Find in your heart. The world is full of anger, animosity, hatred, backbiting, finger pointing. Why do we wait to show some love we never knew it was there for the dead? For the dead has no memory. For the dead has no hearing. Let's show honor, affection, forgiveness to each other while we are still alive. Can you take a look at the one sitting next to you? Can you please talk to the one sitting next to you? Can you say something to the one sitting next to you? That is what I, Abdullah would have loved. A unifier. left to you, you wouldn't leave Nana. Nana, your daughter. Nana. How are you and Nana? But your daddy has called you home. You have left pain in the hearts of friends, family, the church, and the world at large. We will miss you. You have taught us a lesson. Of all our labor, without God, it is useless. It was painful. The moment I had to do a difficult work to take the white linen and cover the body of Abinah. And then, making a decision that Let's pick this phone. Let's pick this bag. Let's pick this glove. We pick things, but we couldn't bring Abena with us. How could we leave her there? Ladies and gentlemen, that she has gone to be with her maker. You could be rich. You could be brilliant. A learned person. You look down upon everybody, these people are not learned. 
ladies and gentlemen, it is for nothing if you don't have God. Humility is a key. He gives grace to the humble. And let's forgive each other. May we not become each other's enemy. May we not feign fake love. Today is the day. Be a brother's keeper. Be a sister's keeper. If possibly you might have said something wrong behind Abinah's back and then a son. If her leadership was nothing for you to write home about and then a son.
presence, O oh God. Expressing our appreciation to you mm. that you gave our sister and our wife and our everything to us as a gift. Mm. And you, O oh God, have your own plans for her life. Before what she was formed in her mother's womb. You the Lord God Almighty. Had a plan for her life. Yes. She has fought a good fight. She has finished the race. And now, oh God. The reward is from you to over Lord God. Your word says that all things were together for our good. Amen. To them that fear you. And this is somebody who showed respect to you, God. Mm. This is somebody who submitted to you, God. Mm. This is somebody who was selfless and dedicated her whole life for you. But Father, Lord God, it is not easy That she is not with us anymore. Therefore, Father, we pray, committing her husband, her daughter, the siblings, and the entire family into your hands, O God. Father, we pray for your grace. We pray for your love, O God. We pray for your comfort, O God. Why the atheists, O God? Father, we pray for your sustenance, God, in the midst of this difficult time. Be their comfort, God. Be their joy. Be their protector, O God. Be their security, O God. Be their provider, O God. And let them, O God, fix their minds on you. And not any other thing. The old things shall pass away. But your way will remain forever. Amen. Father, empower them, O Lord God. Yes, and so we commit everyone here into your hands. Mm -hmm. Your word has come to us to show and demonstrate love towards one another. That we shouldn't wait for somebody to cross to the other side before we say good things about them. We pray that, oh God, that your word that has come forth through your servant will have its rightful place in our hearts. That from henceforth, if we were people that used to hate, we will not hate anymore. If we were people that used to be angry, we will not be angry anymore. If we were people that used to be jealous, we will not be jealous anymore. If we were people that used to barbite, we will not barbite anymore. People that condemn, people that wish evil for others, that we will not do it anymore. Because for us to live is you, Christ. Yes. And to die is gain for our soul. Yes. And that is what you have done for your daughter. Amen. Father, we pray for each and every one of us that we would demonstrate genuine love, O oh God, and support each other. We pray for your grace for Mrs. Sinti. Yes. For the daughter, O oh Lord God, mm. and for the entire family, O oh God, that your grace is sufficient for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Only you take your seat. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor King. Uh, DJ, Mr. Sober Mamma Nyonka Crabrado, for a two Sante, a Vincia, a Bread, uh, a for a son and a Ubian.
Because people are dehydrated, please. Can we have more water going around, please? People need to stay hydrated. We don't have, we don't want any problems tonight. Oh, what? 
So if you want to transfer it, I will give you an account number so you can transfer it. Everything is possible these days. Thank you.
vehicle registration please can you go outside and then um, move your car service the date for the burial service is the 14th of September 14th of September 2022 14th of September and the burial service will be held at Mitchum Methodist Church Mitchum Methodist Church Cricket Green Mitchum Methodist Church Cricket Green. Postcode is CR44FB. CR44FB. That is where we'll have the burial service on the 14th of September 2022. Mitchum Methodist Church Cricket Green. Mitchum CR44FB. And the final funeral ride will be held on the 17th of September. That is a Saturday. The 14th is, the, is Wednesday. And then the 17th September will be the final funeral ride. And the venue will be communicated later. The venue will be communicated later. We don't have the venue yet. So by the time we do um, the memorial, um, no, the, the time we do the burial service, we get a, a, um, the venue for you. But the date is the 17th of September 2022. 17th 
So the burial service is the 14th, and the final funeral rite is the 17th. And we see Time, I'm going to to talk to talk to you. And you can say, I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to you. I'm going to to you. i I'm going to to you. I'm going to talk to you. i i i Mitchell, CR4, 4LP. The Ufu Summon, a Methodist Church, a war Mitchell. Nada, a bay, ye, Naja, Nechikra, a year, a day tossed to do so. I have also me a toss, a tossu, and cronemo. Also me a toss of cronemo, that tossed to do so. Anna, a bay, ye, and on the baby a bay and so on. Ye be my most wanted. Let them say, Mess up a view, now made in Cabo as I'm Baby, I agree. I welcome the youth from King's Palace International. They are um, colleague with Nana, the daughter of our dear mom and sister. So they are here to show their love to their colleague Nana. So let's welcome the youth of King's Palace International. Thank you. to show a token of love. The youth in the ministry just spoke to me a couple of days back and said they would like to show their love to Nana and Harriet because they saw Auntie Janet as their mom. Auntie Janet took them in. She didn't show any difference. So they feel it's their mom that has passed on to glory. And at this juncture, because of that, they would like to serve the visitors or people that have come to mourn with them. So in so doing, they have shown these few drinks, they have a few drinks and water to serve the visitors that have come. So that is why we are here. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you, Yadamasi, and to say, Lucia, Mamre, Sanyen, Sanyen, and some of the Roma, Bucetina, Roninia, Mana, Yadamasi, Sir Machre, or Doc, Namudio, Dabo, Yo, every year for Mosa and Famoso and Femicacra, Masaba, Messer, Sir, Sir. Waha Nasa Kawi, a Yodia, Messre, Sekoko, two, a Maya, Messre, Mosa for my son, and family that cry, and Mosa Babu Babia, a year no, Yabaya no, and the Medicaca, a year Mitchell, Methodist Church, a Ufu Sumno, a Ufu Sumno, Yabay no Mitchell Methodist Church on the fourteenth, na time no a eleven. 11 to 2, 11 to 2. Now here we are, 
Nay, now I to Santa Aco Cemetery, I wore Mitchell Bar Landing Road opposite Victoria Road or next to Victoria Road. I am Mitchell, a whole now in Yaya to Santa now. Yako see in Yaba. Please, the burial service, as I said earlier on, will take place at Mitchell Methodist Church, Cricket Green. CR4 4FB and the time is 11 a.m. The burial service, the time is 11 a.m. Please, it's prompt. It's not Africa time. Please, it's prompt. So nobody should come. If you come there too, we'll finish because it's 11 to 2. And then after that, we all march to the cemetery and Mitchell Landing Road next to Victoria Road at 2 p.m. So the burial will take place at Mitchell Cemetery, Landing Road, that is next to Victoria Road. And the burial service, Mitchell Methodist Church, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. I don't want to see. I think I will be able to get a message from you. I don't want to see. DJ Pacho, I'm going to get a message from you.
please, in case whatever I read here, you didn't get it, um, they are going to put it on the screen here so you can catch it or you can write it. Or I know in due time we we'll give you a, a text message, we we'll send it to you through all the social media, everywhere that you are, you'll get it. But your uh, Emeku for a more King's Palace International. Menyanti is a Yamuna wanting, a Meku for King's Palace, Munina Mopa wanting, and Sir Mopa, Na Moba Betia, Mobeshe, a Bushiati, and T. Wow, Meku, KPABI, Yamu, a Wabonting, a Brown Mo, a Dinchia, a Bre, a Bushia, and a Ukuna for the Ramasi. I am a good one to Santa Ebano, or Mudinchia, Eba, and the Shabbos Yadin.
Okay, yes, she will come up late in a half. Now, who cram my now? When they know a leader, she was the leader of the women's fellowship. She was our leader. How can I say was? It's so strange. Now, men of mine, I can see me down my brain and I am. Now, in fact, I said, and to that, who am I to stand in her shoes? เอเจนฮะเอเจนฮะเซเคพีไอคุณแม่คุณลิชเอคัวน่ามาบินาอิตีเอนิโอเรนักโอสุจินะฮะเอสุโซเอสิอูโบคราเดียดังไปอินทู
Janet was there. So we went to the house on the one week to represent the whole church, and we did what um, the protocol says. We've done everything, and we just told the husband that we are here to support him, and Nana as well, and Daniel. Thank you all, and may God bless you. Thank you. God bless you, too. Oh. Oh. International and TJ was their president, so they came to say what they needed to do. Um, they just gone to the house to do what is needful, and they are here to support their family. We welcome people also who are here to express their condolences to their family. We welcome everybody. The men's ministry are also here. Surprisingly, Whilst Auntie Janice is the president of the women's ministry, the husband is also the chairman of the men's ministry. So the men are also here to express their condolences and their sympathy and uh, to the family. And the brother also, Mr. Mankwa, is also part of the men's ministry. And Auntie Sylvia is also part of the women's ministry. So we welcome the King's Palace International Men's Ministry as they are coming. DJ, give them some music as they are coming. Let's welcome the men of King's Palace International. Normally, no, I don't know. I say the crown, the 
Supposed to finish here at 10 exactly 10. We have only 15 minutes, so let me run up with this announcement and then after that, um, we do the closing prayer because we have to finish exactly 10 p.m. For, for the sake of those who just came, please uh, listen to the following announcement on the 14th of September, we have the burial service of our dear sister at Mitchell Methodist Church, Cricket Green. Mitchell Methodist Church, Cricket Green, cr 44 lb That's on the 14th of September. That's, that's where we have our burial service from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And after that, we proceed to Mitchell Cemetery in London Road. That's next to Victoria Road. They say it's opposite fixed Marsh Park. It's opposite Fix Marsh Park. Fix Fix F I O G S Fix. So please bear in mind it's 14 September, Mitchell Methodist Church, Cricket Green. And then we proceed to the cemetery at Landing Road next to Victoria Road, opposite Fix Marsh Park. And then the final funeral ride will be held on the 17th of September. 17th of September. And that will be from 6 p.m. 
but the venue will come later. The venue will come later. So please um, wait for it. We will send it to you later. I will see you in the next one. I say, I will for some no ever pass so I will make a Methodist church. I am completely green. I am for some me a tosso and chrono that a tosso do nine. For some me a tosso and chrono that a tosso do nine. And I am very a for some no I will make a a sorry a Methodist a sorry cricket green. Now, if you are not in your yard to Santini, I call Mitchell Cemetery, ah, a wall landing road. You see, uh, next to Victoria Road, ah, the opposite, and I say, near any training room, a fixed mass plan. Now, Rufusono, a tobacco, a popium, no meal, no tobacco, a popium, no meal, no, a Rufusono. Now, if you are so <laughs> And said, I want to say, I will 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 Please, I have only 10 minutes to go. So in case you have anything to say in the presentation, please let me know. Also, the table is there. If you brought any drinks or if you couldn't carry the drinks and you want to make it money, please go there. They will write your name and they will take it. Thank you very much. DJ, give me some songs whilst we prepare for the closing prayer. Thank you. Um, please, the Thanksgiving service after the funeral ride will come out on the 18th. Sorry, on the 18th of September, that will be held here. Here, this is the premises for King's Palace International. The 18th September will be Thanksgiving service. So, 14th the burial service, 17th the funeral ride, and the 18th is the um, Thanksgiving service. So, please bear in mind. Uh, I think the men's ministry has requested a song and they said they are going to, they have only five minutes. So men, stand firm in Jesus and come quick. Thank you. Let me repeat the times again. 14th September, the burial service is 11 a.m. Mitchell. 14th September, burial service 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. The burial at the cemetery is 2 p.m. on that day. The final funeral rites will be on the 17th at 6 p.m. to 11 or 12. The venue will come later. The Thanksgiving service at King's Palace International will be held here on the 18th from 10.30. 10 10.30. Thank you.
thank you, Mr. DJ. Uh, the time has passed, Ben, so I do things quick, quick, quick. Um, Auntie Jane's um, colleagues, they are here. They want to say something, so can we give them the opportunity to come? Shall we welcome the colleagues of Auntie Jane to come and say something? <laughs> Um, I just want to appreciate everyone, especially Janet's husband and um, her daughter. I had the privilege to be with you on her birthday. I was Janet's manager for three and a half years. Janet and I walked to the same day to Wandsworth Children's Services. She came in as a consultant and I was to manage her. I saw a great potential. Janet was very loyal. I came to the service at a very difficult moment. And she will call me, my Niger sister, it's very difficult for you to give up. You won't run away, I will stay with you. She stayed with me. We managed 18, and we came an 80. Janet respected that week that was in me and she became that thing that she respected. Janet, I handed over the baton to Janet as a team manager when I left. She was thorough. When I heard about her death, I said, Janet, I don't know how to mourn you. She was my Ghanaian sister. I never saw her as a colleague. Every time, even when I had moved on, she would encourage me. It takes a confidence a God-fearing woman to support another sister climbing a ladder. Amen. And I have never come across that. But I saw those things in Janet. We have missed and lost a very rare gem. And I cannot compare any other. In every step of my life that I have taken, and I will always go back to her, and I say, what do you think? I became, they gave me a name, and they called me the Gulf, governor. And I said, well, I don't know what I deserve. If there's anyone to be the governor, it would be you who helped me and encouraged me through those difficult times. A big vacuum has been gone. There is no amount of word that will be able to fill it. My prayer to you is that God, the perfecter of our peace, will give you that peace no matter what we say. The pastor has said it all. Janet came like a candle in the wind. Her life was sweet and short, but she impacted so much and she managed a team and she loved what she does. Everything about Janet is meticulous. She's knowledgeable, she's skilled, and above all, she's very patient. Janet will talk all day, and I love her silence. Janet is not a woman of many words. She's a very wise woman. She doesn't talk anyhow. If there's anything I have learned about Janet, it's about that skill of silence. Even in the midst when you have a lot to say, but you chose to be silent, there is no bigger or wiser thing for any man to endure. But today, I mourn with you. As I said, I don't know how to mourn my Kamiyan sister. And, and I only hope and I pray that this journey that Janet has taken in her early stage in life, but her, your daughter, her daughter will be that she will not die young. There will be no, you, the Bible said you will not cast your young. That everything that Janet was not able to accomplish, Nana, you will accomplish it with your You will see your children, children. You will see them graduate. And to my brother, the Lord will comfort you. As he comforted Zion, he will comfort you. And everyone here, we are here together. Don't see us as a colleague. We are not family. And if there's anything we can do to support in any form or shape, we are here to give that support. And God bless you. And for all of us who have come to mourn with you, may we not gather to mourn again. There shall be a trumpet of celebration in our different homes. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you. And thank you.
Thank you. That was very powerful. That was very powerful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you have such a colleague, you move far. At this time, I want to welcome Pastor Daniel to. Oh, sorry. We are closing. Anybody coming, please? Um, can you come as we are closing? You are welcome. Shall we welcome Pastor Danny to give us a closing prayer? I wish you all for your makwaba. The best say say a year Danny draw the best one is and say the Emre and a year Juma. The Damwasi. Thank you. May we be on our feet, ladies and gentlemen, as we close for the day.